Well, welcome back. And this is the video that I promised um, about our countertops. As you can see in our previous videos, this countertop was super worn down. I don't know how a counter gets like that, but it is super, super worn down. And it had um, just marks and scratches and everything all over the place. So right now I'm giving it a really good scrubbing. I'm using some Dawn soap, some water. I just need to degrease it, um, need to clean it, need to scrub it, and then I rinse it off um, a little bit later in the video. So this countertop, for some reason, has some kind of texture, and I heard it was called elephant texture, which is really weird to me, but um, the elephant skin has that, you know, like that, that texture is not smooth all the way so I don't know who had the awesome idea of making textured countertops like I would see that as really gross uh, things getting stuck in there not really being cleaned 100% so just for my um, sanity <laughs> and you know everybody else's health I really wanted to um, I can't replace the countertops right now, but you know, at least I can put some kind of coating on it that I know that it will be a little bit smoother than before. And as you can see here, I'm going to show you right here, you can see the texture. I mean, it looks like knockdown from the 90s walls, which we do have, by the way, we do have knockdown in our, in our house. And I hate that stuff because it's so hard to patch up. But look at the condition of this. I mean, what were they doing? I have no idea. Were they scrubbing? I don't know. Anyways, my kitchen looks terrible. I know it doesn't have any doors to it or anything, but we're getting to that. All right, so I'm going to give it a very quick uh, sand down with 120. And I bought this block to make it easy on me. And, um, you know, just sanding everything. And then after that, I'm just going to wipe it back down again to make sure that this paint will adhere 100% because this is a kitchen. We cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The kids are homeschooled. My husband works from home. So we're all home all the time. We're always cooking and always cleaning over and over again. So these countertops have to last us a little bit until we can replace them so i'm going to uh, tape off the areas that i do not want paint on which that didn't work 100 but anyways i guess it would have been worse if i wouldn't have done it so that's what i'm doing now Okay, everything is taped up, ready to go. And I am ready to get this painting done so we can get this kitchen ready. Um, I am going, I think it took like an hour to dry and I decided to give a second coat and you'll see how that goes. So here's the kitchen. This is the first coat. I'm letting this dry. Um, so hopefully, I mean, it, it, it was a black countertop, so I can't expect it to get, you know, there so quickly. But, you know, I like instant gratification. But I guess I really, truly wanted white countertops. But for some reason, that Rust-Oleum countertop paint that we bought they only have a certain amount of colors that you can choose. And this is the closest to white that we were able to get. So this is the second coat looking so much better, but there are some spots that would not cover up no matter how many coats I gave it. I'm showing you some of these spots here. And honestly, I don't want to waste any more money on another can this is just how it's, we're going to have to live with it. So at the end of this video, I'm going to show you after six months of living or almost a year, almost a year of living with countertops that are painted. 
uh, you can see the spots here. So this is now. These are my countertops, well, like I, like I made a month ago. So here is all the chipping. Uh, we have a cast iron pan, which we we'll put down for like a second. And that's that. I'm going to clean it again. And I'm going to clean it with even bleach. So you can see how this is not come out no much no matter how much you clean it'll just not come out so this is my experience with a rust-oleum countertop i think i did everything i was supposed to do i read the can over and over again i was really adamant that this had to be perfect so we can at least use these countertops for a while so that didn't quite work so now after all this time, I just can't deal with the stains and just the ugliness of it. So I'm going to try what everybody else is trying, which is the appliance paint. So I heard it's very, very stinky. This wasn't too bad, but it didn't work 100% for us. So maybe it works for other people, but for us it did not. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to be using the white appliance paint. And I'm gonna use the can We've been using the spray for other items, but uh, mm, we didn't quite like it. Uh, it doesn't really 100% uh, cover what we want. So I'm gonna be doing that and I'm gonna be doing a video on that. So stay tuned. <laughs> 